there, my name is Jennifer Levinson. This is What's Today. Today is March 2nd, 1836, and Texas just declared independence from Mexico. The year is 1836. Spain finally recognizes the independence of Mexico after failing to reconquer their former colony. And Samuel Colt produced the first pistol, a 34 caliber named the Texas Model. And Texas just declared independence from Mexico. Wait, let me get this straight. So Texas declared independence from Mexico as Mexico was dealing with Spain who was refusing to recognize Mexicans independence from them. All while some dude named Samuel Colt was making a gun named Texas that would be used by Texans against Mexicans? Dang, that's what I call a tex mess. The Northern Mexican territory of Texas was separately populated. So the Mexican government made a deal they would later come to regret. Mexico invited American settlers to immigrate to Mexico and work the land. One future Texan, Sam Houston, would hear the call and make his way west. But right now, he was a little busy. You might recognize Sam Houston's last name. Spoiler alert, it's a giant city in Texas. But it didn't start as the name of a giant city in Texas. Sam Houston was born in Virginia. He served his country honorably in the War of 1812, rising from a private to a third lieutenant in the US Army, serving directly under the future president of the United States, Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson, by the way, had the nickname Old Hickory, which sounds like a flavor of beef jerky. Andrew Jackson played an instrumental role in Sam Houston's life. He encouraged the young lieutenant to pursue a career in politics. Another spoiler alert, Sam Houston pursued a career in politics. After the war, Houston moved to Tennessee for law school. After getting all smart and stuff, he was elected to Congress for two terms, then got a promotion kind of, where he was the governor of Tennessee. I know, it's not a promotion, but whatever. He got a cool new job title. Life got tough for Sam in Tennessee though. He had a drinking problem and his marriage was not going so well. Eventually, he and his wife divorced, so Sam picked up and eventually settled on Texas. He was married again, controversially, to a Cherokee woman named Tiana Rogers. And they would arrive together, crossing the Texas border in 1832 as illegal immigrants. Mexico had banned immigration from America into Texas in 1830, but that didn't stop anyone. Tons of illegal immigrants poured into Mexico. The Americans living in Mexico, some new and some old, began seeking independence. And Sam Houston thought that was a great idea and became an active voice in the call for revolution. And Texans listened, making today March 2nd in 1836 the day Texas declared itself an independent country, separate from Mexico, and not yet an American state, with Sam Houston as its commander in chief and first president, giving Sam Houston two reasons to celebrate. Uh, what, what was the other reason? Oh, it's Sam's 43rd birthday. That's right, for his 43rd birthday, Sam Houston got the independent country of Texas. Not bad. Didn't even need to save a receipt for that one. The declaration would be the foundation of the Texas Republic, with Sam Houston as the first president of Texas. He was also third president of Texas. Then later when the Texas Republic became the state of Texas, Sam Houston would lead again as a Texas state senator and as a governor of Texas. No wonder they named a city after him. In fact, Sam Houston is the only person in US history to be the governor of two different states, Tennessee and Texas. Sam Houston served as governor for two years before he was removed from office for refusing to swear loyalty to the Confederacy as Texas seceded from the Union. Texas independence and the eventual running of the country, then the state, gave Sam a chance to be a legend. Without that opportunity, we might not have a giant city in Texas named what it is today. If you like this show, subscribe to the channel for more episodes. If you really like it, click that little bell below next to the subscribe button to get notifications when we upload new videos. Sometimes we make mistakes. If you catch one, let us know in the comment section. We'll post any changes in the description down below. Make sure to check it out before you go for all the updated information. Oh, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram if you haven't already. 
And remember, every day was just a normal day until someone made it special. Thanks for watching.